the two boys present The Hands That Thieve by Streetlight Manifesto. Streetlight Manifesto presents Streetlight Manifesto. We're just giving you a nice little radio show as we find it ourselves. This is fair. I've started thinking about it. Someone pointed out, it's like a little radio show. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, we don't stop like a normal reactor through through the song. That's true. We wait till the end and give our thoughts on it and just jam with community in the in between. This is fair. Now, if, Ooh, if I we do are, have the face made for radio. If we are a radio station, don't you have to like sign up for something? Are we an illegal radio station right now? I have no idea. I think you got to be like some kind of license or something. So we're an illegal. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's just we're not a radio station. Don't tell anybody, guys. We don't know what's happening. Yeah, we're not a radio station. We're the boys. We're just the boys. We're the fucking boys. We do we do boys things. The boys. <laughs> All right. Um, I was looking to see who sent us this beautiful song, but I'm pretty sure it is Crunchitize Me Senpai, and it is. Bam, nailed it. Let's go, dude. Let's jump on in. All right, let's get it. was caught and I was told that I was guilty and even then I wasn't really sure yeah yeah the thing I found was guilty itself but maybe it was something else frustration at the fact that I was ever caught at all I told a lie that multiplied it by the time I realized it I've given up everything I ever loved yeah yeah the thing you like when you're looking back is the pressure to feel that you have to have yeah everything is clear when you're looking at the past oh no No pain till I was down and I was told that I was bleeding And even then I knew I wasn't done, yeah, yeah Cause the wounds I get, they will just collect Ensuring that I won't forget Reminders of the battles that I've lost and that I've won And I will fight till I have died For all my enemies, their allies And even then I will sleep with an open eye, yeah, yeah Cause the night is long and I'm both so strong But I know that the road we're traveling on It only seems so dark because we've almost reached the dark Decipher is left from his right or his right from his wrong. Hey, 
things you said when I was down and I was tired of it. The words you spoke, they brought me home. When it was time to fight, we chose a side. But everyone knew that something didn't feel right. So we stood our ground and waited for a sign. Another classic song stating, hey, the past is the past. Let's move forward. Yep. And, yeah, very, very, very well written. Absolutely. Now, I have to ask here, in your opinion, what genre is this? What You, you, have, to, you have to say it with confidence, though. All right? I can't do that. Yeah, you have to. Plus, it might make people angry, so it's fun. It's that fat mic in me, guys. I'm sorry. Can't help myself. This whole thing, this whole premise what is a trap. What genre is this? It's a giant trap. And you just, yeah. Go ahead. It's you, all. You want to hear the end part again? Just, just to, so you can kind of get a little. It's like a. I had, I had to hide Chad just in case. It's like a ska punk pop mixed trio thing. If you had to put it in one genre, though, where were you putting it? Uh, if I have to choose one, one single genre, single genre. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with the uh, pop punk. You're going pop punk all day. Honest to God. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I I think this is. I guess I'll step in my own trap just because it's, you clearly can't figure out how to get in the fucking trap. And you weren't synced up with me, Chuck. No, not Very at all. Very disappointed. <laughs> Scott. It's like one of the biggest, the biggest dividing factors in ska is this band right here. Really? You have normies come in. They're like, oh, yeah, I love this ska band. And, people, and then you have the ska, like, purists that are like, there's enough fucking ska. <laughs> it, I a, love it. It makes me happy. Every time I see people complaining that it's not ska, and funny. then I'm like, it's ska. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. It's such a weird mix between oh, yeah. ska and pop it, punk. It, I, dude, I don't really think it's ska. I don't think the lead singer thinks it's ska either. I, I almost put more fiesta music vibe into this than you I know, do ska. I was kind of in the whole uh, we could go folksy too with it. Yeah, it's like a folk punk with a it's like a, a mariachi like feel in in yeah inspiration there um now i could see why uh, if it, anything if we're gonna call it close to ska it's like ska jason i'd say yeah it's not ska by any means but it's it's got elements right yeah. and and maybe not yeah i feel like somebody that's a big into ska would still like this based on the fact that it's as long as you don't call it ska it's got a similar feel but it's not yeah yeah, I'm in a couple ska groups, and every time this band comes up, it's like me getting my popcorn because you know there's people and they're just raging about how they're not ska. That's funny. And I'm the complete opposite. I want my genre to, I want my genre to not just turn stale yeah. and like stay the same. 
And uh, like, I like mine, like turning into like this hybrid as it grows yeah, and absolutely. Just, just something different every generation. Which, shoot. I mean, it's no secret. I'm big into country Yeah, and country's done that throughout the last two decades in the wrong direction. It kind of went pop, super poppy. It went pop for a second. We thought it was like pop rock and we're like, right, it's going to go rock direction. That'd be cool. And then it went pop. It went straight. It's straight pop. A hundred percent. At least it's selling well for them. Yeah, I mean, it's doing well. <laughs> <laughs> it's selling well. Um, the, yeah, no, I, I mean, I'd personally love to see a genre evolve and then, like, just different variations done with it. Um, but I, I don't know if that's the argument here or if it's missing certain ska elements that, you know. Are we gatekeeping ska? Oh, I don't gatekeep I'm shit. Not let, no, 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 I'm but, not you. But, no, like, I've seen people be like, this is why we need gatekeeping. Like when it, when, when this when Scott this and not let them in when this band comes up that's when I see shit like that the only time I ever see stuff like that from a genre metal does it a lot but hardcore is bad with gatekeeping yeah really I bad. feel like the big thing is like okay you throw a ska show you have street light there people are gonna be happy yeah probably except for the the purists yeah you so still you, think they'd enjoy street light but they probably just, do yeah just not calling a ska yeah. Which is fine. But, yeah, that's why I'm but, at a Scott Fest. Yeah. I would love to see it. It would be fucking awesome. Dude, it would be so much fun. And you could, you'd be able to pick out the gatekeepers because they'd be still sitting down. Is that <laughs> the ocean or is that the salty tears of ska fans everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Okay, so... For real, though, um, this song is a lot of fun. Lots of ups and downs. That's why I like it. Uh, there are some horns there. But, again, I get more of a mariachi vibe than I do a ska. But it is yeah. it is what it is to each person. I don't really care personally. Right. I'm not going to get butthurt about that kind of stuff. Um, the vo- His vocals are just great. And the lyrics are really, really what I love about this. So mm-hmm. it's going to get an easy 8.4. It's going to go on a playlist. I'm at 8.2 playlist all day. We're lyric guys. Sorry, y'all. But damn, this is just really fleshed out. It made me think throughout, and that's yeah. what I love. Sitting there trying to figure out, what the hell is he talking about? Exactly, because there's times where you could definitely tell that he was talking about religion, yeah. and it was just so well done that he mixed it in with, like, you know, just life, the way he kind of worded things. But yeah. you could tell there was parts that he was kind of talking about, which they do a lot. They do yeah. a lot. That's kind of and the thing. And he's sitting there uh, also at the beginning talking about being a thief, right, mm-hmm. and not feeling guilty about it. But kind of feeling guilty, but not not really feeling guilty. Yeah, that's what I. Yeah, and they were biting the hands that thief. Hold on, wait a minute. I'm confused. What are we doing here? I'm so so lost. Where are we going? And then we swap it up and talk about something else. Yeah, and I'm like, "Uh, uh, okay. And then we're back to that. And then it's like, oh, okay. Just literally, just don't live in the past. Okay, I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for filling that out for me. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. But there was a there yeah. And this is one of those songs too that it might hit you a different way if you're experiencing something different in life kind of yeah. along, you know. That's what I love about this kind of stuff. Um shout out to Crunch Tesme 